Hey, what's up everybody? How are you doing today? Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you are new here, my name's Tobias and welcome to another Microphone Mondays where I upload new microphone reviews and comparisons every Monday. And today I actually have something a little different for you guys. The audio that you are hearing right now is coming from this microphone right here. It is the Fine Fine. K025. Now the name Fine Fine, I know it looks like it's pronounced Fine Fine, but in the past they actually reached out to me and corrected me and said that it's actually pronounced Fine Fine. So I've been saying Fine Fine ever since. But the thing about this microphone is that it is one of the first microphones that I ever reviewed on my channel. So I've had it for a couple years already, and I've always kind of just considered this microphone to be a karaoke microphone. And just yesterday, you know, I was thinking to myself, the Fine Fine K025 is a wireless handheld dynamic microphone. It comes with a wireless battery powered receiver. You're not really tied down to anything. And it got me to thinking, well, as long as you have the correct adapters, you could pretty much use this microphone with anything you want. So I decided, hey, let's go ahead and try to connect it to my camera and let's go ahead and try to connect it to my iPhone. And sure enough, it worked. And I'm going to show you guys how to connect it in this video. And just really quick guys, if at any point during this video, if you decide that you do like this video or that this video helps you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, I upload new microphone videos every Monday. Make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this is going to be a pretty inexpensive way to get a wireless microphone for your camera or iPhone or other smartphone. So let's go ahead and go over everything you'll need and I'll go ahead and pull up the Amazon pages for you guys. So the first thing you're going to need is of course the Fine Fine K025. It goes for $32.99 on Amazon. Now the next things that you're going to need are the cables. If you want to be able to use this microphone with both a camera and a smartphone, you're going to need two different cables. The first cable you're going to need will be for the camera, and that will be a quarter inch to one eighth inch TRS adapter. And I found one on Amazon for $8.99. For an iPhone or other type of smartphone, you're going to need a one quarter inch to one eighth inch TRRS adapter. It's almost the same thing, but there is a slight difference. You'll notice that the TRRS adapter has an extra ring around the one eighth inch end of the cable. And that's what you're going to need for a smartphone. I found one of those on Amazon for $7.99. If you are going to be using it with an iPhone, you will need a dongle. If you don't have one, I found one on Amazon for $7.99. And I would strongly recommend getting a wind muff right here on top of the microphone that is a wind muff. And I found one on Amazon for $3.95. If you add up the total for all these things, it comes out to $61.91. So for a wireless microphone for an iPhone or a camera, in my opinion, that's not a bad price at all. And I will have the links to these Amazon pages down in the description of this video in case you want to check those out for yourself. And the reason that I emphasize getting a wind muff like this or another type of wind muff is because the microphone, in my opinion, is kind of sensitive to plosives and things like that. Let me just demonstrate that for you really quick. Peter Piper picked a pepper. Peter Piper picked a pepper. So I don't know if you guys could hear the difference, but it probably sounded a lot better with the wind muff. If you are interested in watching the full unboxing and in-depth review of the K025, I'll go ahead and link my original review of this microphone, which I did a couple years ago. I'll go ahead and put that link down in the description of this video as well. And let's get into setting it up. So first of all, let's go ahead and go over setting up the K025 on your iPhone. The first thing you're going to want to do is take the receiver and plug in the quarter inch to one eighth inch TRRS adapter. If you're using an iPhone, you're also going to want to plug in your iPhone dongle and then plug that dongle into your iPhone. And then you want to turn on the receiver and the light on the receiver will turn green. And then you want to turn on the actual microphone. And when the microphone turns on, the light on the receiver will turn red. Once it turns red, you'll know that the microphone is paired with the receiver. You can then open the camera app on your iPhone or smartphone 
begin recording a video and the audio that the video will capture will come from the K025. Now let's go over connecting the K025 to a DSLR camera like the one that I have. The camera that I have is the Nikon D5300. I'll go ahead and put the Amazon page for my camera down in the description below in case you want to check that out. I use the 18 millimeter to 55 millimeter VR lens. I'll put a link for that in the description below as well. And the process of connecting the K025 to your camera will be almost the same as the iPhone, except you will be connecting the receiver to the 1 quarter inch to 1 eighth inch TRS adapter, and then you will be plugging that TRS adapter into your camera's mic input. You can then begin recording a video with your camera, and the audio being picked up will be coming from the K025. Alright guys, so for this part of the video, I am recording with the camera on my iPhone and I have the K025 plugged into my iPhone. And one thing I haven't really brought up yet is the range. And the thing about the range is that if you look at the Amazon page, it'll say something crazy like this has a range of around 80 feet. I honestly probably wouldn't go further than 10 feet away from the receiver because in my experience, the batteries do get eaten up pretty quickly in the microphone and the receiver. And once the batteries start to get a little low, the range will be significantly reduced. So in my opinion, I honestly probably wouldn't go further than like say 10 feet away. So right now I'm maybe, this is probably like roughly five feet away. Um, let's just say I move back here. Like say this is probably 10 feet right here. I probably wouldn't go further than that. Let's just go ahead and try going further back just to see um, when it cuts out. Check, check. Let's see if it cuts out. Maybe it already cut out. I just don't know. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move back. Let's go ahead and move back. We'll see if it cut out at any point and maybe we're coming back in right now. I don't really know. So as you saw in that last clip, the audio didn't completely cut out, but it did get a bit choppy once I got further away from the microphone. So just be mindful of your distance from the receiver. I feel like 10 feet is probably like the safe zone. In my opinion, I think it is pretty cool that even though you're not standing right in front of the camera, you can still pick up pretty clear audio from several feet away with a microphone setup that only costs around $60. I have tested out several other wireless microphone systems, some of them over $200, and in my opinion, they didn't even sound that good. And of course, the benefit of having a wireless microphone set up like this is that even though you're moving around or you might be several feet away from the camera, the audio will stay consistent. So in my opinion, just stay within that 10 foot range and you should be good. So anyways, guys, I think that's going to be just about it for this video. Once again, I will have the Amazon pages for everything that I use in this video down in the description below in case you want to check any of that out yourself. If you did like this video, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.